So we're about to knit the heel flap. Uh, we followed the pattern. It said to do about four inches before the heel flap. So that's what we've got here. And what we do now is we kind of divide the stitches in half. We're going to have half of the stitches here, which is going to be the top of the foot later. And then these stitches here are going to be the heel flap. And I've gone ahead and divided the heel flap uh, onto the two needles here and the other top of the foot stitches are here. I have a total of 44 stitches so there's 22 on this needle and 11 on each of these. Now the working yarn is here so normally we would go across these top of foot stitches next um, but what we're going to do is start the heel flap and to do that we are going to work on the inside of the sock and we're going to slip the first stitch and then purl across the two heel flap needles. I like to get all my heel flap needles onto one needle, so I'm going to put this empty needle down for now and continue across the second one here. And you just continue purling across. And it might feel a little awkward at first because you've kind of got this top of the foot stitch needle poking into you every now and again. Okay, so what we did there was we slipped the first stitch over here and then purled across and now we're going to turn the work around so we're working on the outside of the sock again and what we do with this row is we're going to slip the first stitch, knit the second one, slip the next one and as I'm slipping the stitches here I'm slipping them purl wise so I'm inserting the needle into the stitch as if I was going to purl but then I'm just slipping the stitch off the needle so I've slipped one knit one slipped one now I'm going to knit another one slip one knit one slip one knit one and we're going to do this all the way across the needle and you should end on a knit stitch And slip one, knit one, and we do end on a knit stitch. And so, to make the heel flap, you just alternate the two rows. So the next row, we're going to go back to the slip the first stitch, purl across, and then we'll turn the work again and do slip one, knit one all the way across. And you continue those two rows until you have the suggested heel flap length in the pattern. Um, for, alt for adults, I generally do two and a half inches. And that's it.